employees, your average employees, and your hot, hot skill employees. Mm. And what, what we mean in, in Singapore here, if the average increase is around 4.5%, it doesn't mean that everyone's going to get a 4.5%. It can actually mean that for your high, high potentials or your uh, uh, critical skill staff, uh, the increase could be 8, 7, 8, 10%. Mm. And for low performance, actually, the increase could be actually be zero. And or you can just get inflationary increase at 2%. And basically, uh, Sambhav, you collected data from 2,900 sets of responses across 20 countries in the Asia Pacific region. And the price hikes, the salary hikes will be in pharmaceutical and in the high tech sectors. Yes, because they, there's a need for talent there. But in the financial sector, we've been going through a financial crisis uh, over the past several years. Why still an increase there? Well, I, I think the increase, if you look at the ph pharmaceutical sector, is a lot more and in the high-tech sector as compared to the financial services sector. I think everyone needs some point of increase uh, because of the inflation. Uh, also, what we are seeing in the financial services sector is the pay shift from uh, you know pay at risk, which was very high variable pay, to now paying more on the base salary front, and that is actually causing that you know a, a movement of the pay mix in the financial services but industry. But are uh, employers also considering the higher cost of living that will probably chew up this uh, salary hikes, briefly? Yes, they, they, they are. So the inflation's on the rise, and that is why it really becomes important uh, to, 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 to uh, utilize this, this budget very, very carefully and benchmarking your salaries uh, to your right compatibility.